Okay, so we've got this steering wheel. This is a, uh, what is this, Leroy? A Logitech yes. driving force. Driving force, Logitech. Uh, we got this. We found this. It didn't have any, didn't didn't have any pedals with it. So we've got these pedals, and I don't even know what brand these are. I mean, it didn't say what they are. Made in China. So um, problem we, one problem we got is on this, it's got that connection. But the pedals have this and this, you know. So I got a cable. Where'd that cable go? Yeah. So I've got I've got this cable. I had to take a couple of pins out of it. Uh, come on, there. Okay. See how the the top right and the top left there's a pin there and this thing has got those pins missing so I had to pull had to pull those two pins out so what I'm going to attempt to do is figure out what the what pin does what here on this and figure out what pin does what on this and get these pedals to work with this steering wheel so I'm going to give it a shot so I've got my meter and I'm, I've got it on um, continuity check so when I I don't know if you can hear that or not but when I touch those together I, I hear a tone so I'm going to just uh, you know, ground out various pins until I get get something when I push up when I when I push the pedal. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, so these pedals are Thrustmaster, but you know I have looked online and I don't. These are these are pretty old, so I wasn't able to just. Um, check the continuity on any, any none of these pins seem like they had continuity when I pushed the pedal so right now I, I took I took the thing apart and I'm just tracing the wires the, the connections on these potentiometers Let's see if I can do this one-handed uh, you know I can't do this one-handed but I'm just test testing the uh, continuity Let's see that's that one right there so at this point that's what I'm going to do just test each wire from, from the inside that's the trace these wires to this pin I've got the pin out I know the pin out for the for the steering wheel assuming that's correct once I figure out the pins on this connector I should be able to I should be able to patch them together when I push the accelerator it, it start it starts at 75,000 ohms and it goes to zero When I push the brake it starts at 27,000 ohms and goes to 91,000 so I'm, I'm not sure if that is relevant but at this point that's I'm just kind of collecting my my facts so right now I've got the a little drawing of the uh, connector on the pedals and that one right there that pin right there is the accelerator so that's where I'm at so I found this this wiring diagram I'm going to just try to replicate that this this has got a clutch so I'm just going to use the basically pins two and three Go into the the pots for the brake in the accelerator. I just took some really close pictures of these connections on the accelerator and the brake. I'm just gonna take. I'm gonna re remove those connections and just wire in the the new cable. 
Okay, so I've got it wired in there temporarily just to see if it will work. I'm not going to I'm not going to solder it in there till I'm sure about it. So we're going to give it a test run right now. Okay, so after tracing out all the pins on this connector and on the wires, the pins two and seven are connected together. So that's a white, white and green. So I just, I just, uh, I don't know if you can see that, but I, I just twisted the white and green wire together on my cable. You know, if you're doing this, if you're following along, you might have different colors. So you have, you have to trace. Trace each one to your connector. And by the way, I ended up using a different a different cable. The other cable that I originally had didn't have all the wires connected to the pin. So this one does. Uh, and so for example, on this, pins three and eight are black and tan. So I just twisted the black and tan wires together. And then uh, four and nine are tied together on the output so that's the red and yellow and I twisted the red and yellow together and I to test it I just put, put jumpers to the, the pins on the potentiometers but based upon that diagram that I saw that I showed earlier I, I ended up with the the uh, the five volts here on the accelerator and then the the accelerator comes into the middle the middle terminal and then this is ground I, I originally had that flipped I had that flipped and it was when I would push on the accelerator it would it would go you know less acceleration so I just flipped those two I changed the 5 volt with the ground, just flipped those and it, that fixed it. So I wired this this potentiometer up, you know, similar to the way this one is with the, you know, assuming the the terminal on the right is is the voltage coming in and then this is the signal coming out. And on this, when you push on the accelerator, the the pot turns clockwise so so if you do the same thing here turn this it's it's all the way down like the volume would be down you know, a volume volume control being turned all the way down it's all the way to the right counterclockwise or to, to the left counterclockwise and then as you increase the volume the resistance is going up so it, it seems kind of counterintuitive because you know, you're increasing increasing your acceleration and it's increasing the resistance assuming that's not some kind of backwards pot or something I'll have to check that so yes that is what's happening when you push on the accelerator the resistance is going up so that that seems backwards but you know I, I hooked it up to the PS3 and it worked so that must be right well this is what it looks like after I get everything wired in I've got a uh, just a jumper running over from the from this pot on the uh, 5 volt that yellow wire goes over to the 5 volt connection of the brake and then on the uh, for the ground I've got a jumper running over to the ground of the brake so I just just like the original cable I just hooked a, a zip tie for strain relief. I mean it, it seems like it's going to be okay. It also when it comes through this through the case it's got some more strain relief so I think it'll be fine. I'm going to before I put it together I'm going to go check it out and try it one more time just to make sure it works. 
Okay, I've got a malfunction here. I don't know if you can see this or not, but see how that's not making good contact. Whenever I tested this thing after getting everything wired up, I, it's just not working. And I think it's because of that right there. And then also I've got the same thing over here on the brake. So I'm going to try to figure out what to do about that. The brakes seem to be working okay. But then I could t jiggle that, and the more I jiggle it, the worse it gets. So, I don't know if I heated it up too much when I was soldering these contacts or what. So, I'm going to try to figure out what to do about that right there. See that turning? It's not making good contact. I must have overheated this thing because there's no continuity between the terminals and the traces so like right there those are, those should be connected and it's open so and they're all that way so I'm kind of playing chopsticks here They're all open. So I need to figure out a way to connect those. Hmm. When I overheated the pot, the terminals weren't making connection to the traces. So I just drilled out the rivets on the pot and stuck some clip leads on the contacts. And now, it seems to be, I mean, it's working. I mean, the, the, the traces are good, so I just need to figure out a way to connect the wires to these, to the contacts right there. Any ideas, Leroy? Because uh -uh. it is working now. I got the uh, terminals off, and just clipping clip leads on there. I don't know if I can do this one-handed, but see it it works. Yeah, see how good it works. I don't have very good connection. I'm turning the pot and it's working. And you can't see the screen. I'm turning the pot and it's working. 23k, 41k, 55, 66. So it's working. The pot is working. So what I think I'm going to try to do is is get some tiny star washers. You can kind of see where the I don't know if you can see that or not, but there's kind of like a place where the these terminals had kind of like a star washer built into it and it just it lost connection. You can kind of see those place where the star washers on those terminals were. I'm going to try to find some really tiny star washers and some tiny screws and then maybe somehow hook these terminals back up on the back side, the back side here, and reuse this pot. Because, you know, I've, I've been searching all over the place. I can't find anything that I'm sure would work. So I think this will work if I do that. What do you think, Leroy? Yeah. Okay, another thing I want to fix on this on this steering wheel is that right there. It's just kind of it's it's frayed. I'm afraid that is going to cause a short circuit. So I think I'm just going to take this back off and then just put a piece of shrink wrap on that or something. Or I don't, I don't, depends on how complicated the wiring is in there. I may just re you know, I cut it off and just scoot it in there, but I may end up just putting a piece of shrink wrap around that to fix that. It, it, I think it's just the shielding that's showing. So it's probably not a problem, but I'm going to try to fix that anyway. 
Okay, I got it. Got it off. Um, you know, uh, rather than redo these wires, I think I'm just going to... It's got like this... Uh, it's got kind of like a little tension release relief thing here. I'm going to put some tape around that right there and then just scoot it in a little bit so it's it's not it's not on that cut part okay here's what I did I just taped up that cut part and and sort of shoved it into basically it's like it's like one of those right there just so it'll hold it even more and then put just scooted everything down and put that through the strain relief section so that should fix that uh, that should be just fine I mean my my cords going to be you know three inches shorter but that should be fine I got a little bit too aggressive when I was putting some screws to, to attach the terminals on this variable resistor and the whatever that stuff's called cracked and broke off so at this point I'm gonna continue to look for I'm gonna continue to look for another variable resistor and if anybody knows of where to get one it, you know it's, it's got to be just the right dimensions in order for that gear to mesh with the accelerator pedal if anybody knows where to get one please leave me a comment down below but I'm, I'm gonna call this project a success even though it's not finished it's just gonna be on hold I mean it just it's proven I proved that it would work you can you can use these these Thrustmaster pedals with this Logitech wheel you know, just just attach attach a cable to it using the the diagram that I showed earlier in the video so even though it's not working I, I think it's a success it's just on hold until I can find one of these that fits into the the pedals <laughs>